Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of April reading. Generally my readings are love readings, we will see whatever comes up. Keep in mind that it is Saturn retrograde, it started on April 17th and it lasts till September 3rd. It's all about karma, okay? If you have uh, been doing the good thing, the right thing, whatever, you should be getting rewards. If you are not acting with integrity or doing the right thing or whatever, you know, karma. Payback's a bitch. So I've been telling everybody this. Pay attention until September 3rd because it's about uh, payback and reward. So this is for the sign of Leo. What does Leo need to know, know for the end of April? Oh! Jumped and flipped. Well, you know, it's the Two of Cups reversed. What more of an explanation do we need? There's conflicts, there's incompatibility, there's disharmony, there's disconnection. There could be a separation, there could be a divorce, there could be an end of a partnership. Either way, there is some sort of unhappiness in a relationship, whether this is at, in, in love or wherever else. There's incompatibility somewhere. You know, and it's time to stand up. It's time to fight. Fight for what you know is right. Fight for what you know is right, Leo. Something is heavy. It's burdensome. And you don't need to carry it with you. You don't. There is some sort of heavy burden here in which you are being called to stand up. And let something go. You have to stand up and let something go. What is it? There's no security, there's no stability. There's some feuds going on. There's a lack of happiness at home. Could be a third party situation, may not be. Somebody's ego could be in the way. This could be ego driven. You know, maybe you're out just having fun right now. Maybe you're the person you're dealing with is out having fun. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Burdensome wish fulfillment? How's that work? How's it work? I mean, I don't know. How could somebody find wish fulfillment that's burdensome? I don't understand. Oh, because it's not making them really happy? Something isn't really making somebody happy. There's a lack of happiness. There's a lack of uh, bliss. And there's a lack of enlightenment. Awareness. Hmm. Because it's fun. Something is fun. Yeah. Is there a third party situation? I mean, I hate to say third party, but there certainly could be. And third party doesn't always have to be sexual. There could be three's a crowd. Somebody could be involved in your love life or your relationship that is really causing some arguments and unhappiness. It's big burden. And you're being called to shed. Release the old. Open your eyes. They're being tested. You're being tested, Leo. Hmm. You need to find your power. You, The power is within you. You have it. You have all the power you need to succeed and find the ultimate wish fulfillment. 
But right now, I believe you're in a situation that is less than fulfilling. Very, very unhappy in this situation. Unwilling to accept the truth. Somebody's in denial. They're weak. Somebody's weak. But pride is in the way. Definitely pride is in the way. With the nine of uh, cups and this one. Yes, pride is in the way. Ego. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to live in denial. <laughs> and not take any action. Because right now, all I care is my financial success or success period. All I care about is security and stability, even if there's no love. Because in reverse, she cares about everything but love. This could also be your third party. Taurus. Capricorn or Virgo. Somebody is involved that is making you very unhappy. Could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But somebody is afraid to take action. They have to make a difficult decision. You have options. You may decide to stay or go suddenly. You know, there could be a sudden decision, but somebody's feeling withdrawn. They have to make a choice. Do I stay or do I go? But whatever's going on, there's lack of contentment here. And somebody is too weak to to accept the truth, speak the truth, open their eyes, they're too weak. But they're not getting what they deserve. Uh-uh. Nope. Mm-mm. There's lack of equality here. There's lack of give and take. Somebody has to make a difficult decision and they're stalling, afraid to take action, not strong enough, Pride is in the way. I made the wrong decision. Blah, 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 blah. Incompatibility. Disharmony. Imbalance. Inequality. 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 There's a feeling, an element of unhappiness here in which somebody is refusing to take action because it's stable and secure. Where's the love? Can anybody point it out? I know a lot of people are in denial here. That's the damn truth. And you can change it to make it fit, I'm sure. That's denial. control it. I know that we've talked about this. You can't control what isn't meant to be. I wish that I could, believe me. We all do. But if it isn't destined to be, you cannot change that. And neither can I. Okay? You could be involved with somebody that was a, it was a rebound relationship. When you get into a rebound relationship and the person hasn't healed yet, it usually doesn't lead to anything really solid because the person didn't have time to do their work. They didn't have time to separate from that other person. So it's like the separation never happened. It did physically, but emotionally, mentally, did it happen? If you were impulsive and jumped right into that relationship and they weren't healed or you weren't healed. I believe that there could have been a rebound relationship that was something was done impulsively. And now there's a lot of sadness. Because they can't offer you what you really wanted because they never did their work. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Jeez. This right here is you're holding on to something that is dead. And it's getting old. Fear of change. Fighting destiny. Clinging to the past. Holding on to the past. This is wake up. It's time to wake up. This is an awakening. Release the past. Release the past. There's some secrets here. And you can only live in denial for so long before the universe makes those secrets come out. It's time to move on. It's time to master your emotions. Put yourself in the driver's seat. And get going. Look opposition right in the eye. Go quickly. It's You have been... Stalling a transformation. This is transformation. This is transformation. This is destiny. Transformation reversed. Destiny reversed. Transformation upright. You've been stalling, stalling a transformation because you refuse to wake up. Accept the truth. This is labeled truth in many decks. Accept the truth and shed. Shed the past. Release the past. And be patient to wait for the right one. There's been some sort of right rebound here that isn't working out. Could involve children. You're being called to master your emotions and find that strength, which at this point you don't have. And you don't have to like me. Uh-uh. Nope. Somebody's not putting effort and somebody's lying to themselves. Bitter. Resentful. Somebody's not putting in the work. Is it you or the other person? You can point the finger at yourself? Probably not. There could be an ex in the picture. So, or a mother. There's an ex here. Another woman or man. That plays a big part in this scenario. Somebody doesn't want to accept the truth. Mm -mm. No, I will sit and I will fight for this. I will fight with this because I fear that I will grow old alone if I don't. It's time for you to step back and really focus on what you want in the future. Remember we were talking at the beginning about karma. <laughs> Integrity. Karma is a justice card. The justice card is about integrity. If you do not do the right thing, you will pay for it. Could be this year, could be next year, could be in five, ten years from now. I'm telling you what. If you don't do the right thing, you will pay for it. You're dealing with somebody who isn't honest. They're, it's not truthful. Something's going on here. There's too much difficulty in communication. You're dealing with a really big talker. And you, you're dealing with somebody who brings a lot of conflicts into your life. You really need to step back and focus on your future. Focus on what you want. It's a time for you to step back and reflect. Is this true? Is this real? Am I in denial? Am I doing the right thing? Am I acting with integrity? Step back. Become self-aware. 
take a time out, go within. Is this true? Was this a rebound? Was that person healed? Is that person ready? Are you ready? Was this impulsive? Did we move too fast? Am I lying to myself? Is this worth it? There's a lack of compromise. There's a lack of togetherness. There's a lack of teamwork here. It's time to do the right thing. Time to do the mature thing. The wise thing. The practical, responsible thing. So that you can bring stability back to your life. Once you do the practical, wise thing stable, secure, right thing, you will be given a new beginning that is very secure and stable. But wherever you're at, there's a lack of compromise and communication and cooperation. There is. You need to stand up for yourself. You do. You need to be objective. You need to do the right thing. This is about doing the right thing. This is Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius with justice. When I saw it, I thought justice. It's time for you to do the right thing and move on from this situation. We are going to stop right there. Move on. In many other decks, it's labeled move on. My main advice for this week is to really step back with that hermit card. Really take the time to step back and ask yourself those questions. Is this what you really want? Is this your future? Can you live like this for the rest of your lives? Can you? Can you live like this? Because there's another person involved here. And this person hasn't been let go for a reason. They ain't going away. Can you live with that? This person, can the other person that you're dealing with, cannot let them go. New beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving, and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. It is. It is. If you could just accept the truth and do the right thing, I think that you guys are stuck someplace where you shouldn't be. And you don't have to like me for bringing, being the bearer of bad news. Okay? You are. You're, being, you're stuck in a situation where you're not supposed to be. And you're lying to yourself or somebody's lying here. I don't want to accept the truth. I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to hear the truth. There's an earth sign or a air sign in the mix. There is. And you don't have to like it. Okay? You are being caught. There's incompatibility here. There's no stability. There's no security. It's causing some feuds. There's dishonesty. There's denial. And you do have a new beginning waiting for you. If you would, once you move away, new beginning. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. Okay? You cannot fight destiny and that's what you're doing remember karma is a bitch and I'm trying to help you guys and if by helping others people don't like me then so be it talk to you later